Okay. So, uh, sorry about the um, phone, the background. You can just ignore that for a little bit. Um, someone will pick it up or just hang up, uh, depending on whether it's a telemarketer. Um, point being is that for question 13, we want to do several parts of it. They're asking for the molar mass, okay, of butane, which they do give to us, C4H10, which follows the formula of CNH2N plus two. So that's the A, B, calculate mass of water produced oh my handwriting wow okay produced when 8.0 8 8.80 grams of butane reacts with excess O2 that's oxygen and C calculate mass of butane needed to produce 76.2 grams of carbon dioxide okay so with that being said let's first find out the first act yeah let's do that first finding the molar mass of butane okay so with that being said same way we have four carbons okay and we have 10 hydrogens so carbon is 12.011 and hydrogen is 1.008 so we multiply that Four times twelve point zero and one is like forty eight point zero four four, something like that. Okay, that's good, that's what the calculator says. Um shoot. I did not mean to do that. Hopefully it takes okay good. It's right there still. Whew. Um so we have carbon twelve point zero one one. And 1.008 times 10, it will be 10.080. Okay, so we have okay, so we have as a total is going to be 58.124 grams per mole. So now we have the first part, the molar mass of butane. So now. They're asking us to calculate the mass of water produced when 8.80 grams of butane reacts with excess O2. So, with that being said, this is a combustion equation. So they kind of um, imply they need to know what a combustion equation does. So we know that, well now we know, what we do know is that C4H10, okay? Combustion is just when it reacts with oxygen, hence why they mentioned excess O2 plus energy okay is going to be now co2 plus h2o okay in gas form now with that being said um it could be liquid or gas from what they start with uh, but the point being is that we need to now figure out how much co2 and h2o is produced okay so to know that we have to balance our equation okay so we have four carbons here, mean that we need four CO2, and we have 10 hydrogens here, mean that we need five H2O, okay? That would be how you balance that, but we're not done yet, because now we know how many oxygens we have in total, it will be four times two, that's eight oxygens, plus five, we need 13 oxygens. But we have O2 here, I mean the only way to actually make this fit is by doubling everything to now we have 26 oxygens because that would make this 2 that would make this 8 and this 10 so it'd be 2, 13, 8 and 10 let's see if we got that right we balanced it out well they left it in halves but 
Yep. One, 13 over two, four and five. Exactly. I just like to keep everything in whole numbers because that is the, I guess, the moles you'll see in nature. You won't really see half a mole of O2. You wouldn't see oxygen by itself. It'll always be O2. So now that we have the formula, that's why I only scroll down to that far to give you a little hint. Uh, to find out how much when 8.80 grams of butane reacts with excess O2, we need to convert that grams into moles using our molar mass. So we have 8.80 okay, grams times one mole, because we have to make sure we put the in the numerator what we want and what we had to cancel out, 58.124 grams. These two cancel out. So how much moles do we have? 8.8 .8 divided um, that 58.124 we have 0 0.151 moles of C4H10 okay so now that we have that actually we want to do they're asking um, the mass of water okay so not only do they want H2O they want the mass of it so we convert again so 0 0.151 moles of uh, C4H10. And you're probably wondering what we convert it with. Well, we know what we have, which is a C4H10. So to cancel that, we need it in the denominator. So for every two, based on our field equation of two moles of C4H10, we have 10 moles of H2O. So in total, you're really just multiplying by five. And that gives you your moles. So we have 0 0.757 mole of H2O. But not asking for the moles, they're asking for the grams, which is why we need, again, the molar mass of water. So same way, but I'm gonna do it a little bit tinier. H2O is 2H. 10 so that's 2.016 plus 15.999 uh, together okay 18.015 grams per mole we throw that into the equation 757 moles of h2o and we don't want moles anymore and 18.015 grams. So this times that 7.757, we have in total 13 point, let's see if we need to round because they have only three significant digits, digits in the 8.80. So 13.6, we want three significant digits. Okay, grams of H2O. That is our answer when excess oxygen, aka it's not a limiting reagent, the limiting is a butane, reacts with the limited amount of 8.80 grams of butane. So that's what happens there. Now they're asking, calculate the mass of butane needed to produce 76.2 grams of carbon dioxide. So this one, we kind of have to now work backwards, okay? So we know 76.2 right and if we did the same thing here carbon dioxide one carbon two oxygen uh, that's is equal to 12.011 31.998 add together okay that's 44.009 for co2 okay that's carbon dioxide so 76.2 grams okay and now we know how much grams per mole one mole of co2 these two cancel out so now we have 76.2 divided by that that's a whole 1.73 moles okay of co2 and then based on the conversion factor here there is uh, two butanes produced for every, I mean, eight 
CO2 produced for every two butane. So if we put that in the equation here, we have the well CO2 we needed, and then we want to go to butane. So I'll be two C4H10. So that's two moles, sorry. And eight moles of CO2. So really all you're doing is just dividing by um, four. Uh, divided by four, so you have 0 0.433 moles of C4H10. Okay, and now the last part is we refer back to our molar mass up here. So to get from moles to grams, it'll be 0 0.433 moles times uh, one mole of the C4H10 is equal to um, 58.124 grams of C4H10. Okay, and now what do we get? 58.124 times that value, 25.1. Well, if you round it properly, 25.2. Okay, so there's 25. 0.2 grams of C4H. So I can write that better. C4H10 needed to produce 76.2 grams of carbon dioxide. Okay. So let's see how we did. So exactly, we did definitely got that molar mass part correct. Um, 58.12. Slightly different because they have different values for their oxygen and carbon. Um, so now with that being said, as we do our work, yep, they got 30.6 grams of water, which is good. And for their carbons, as they're breaking it down, they also got 25.2. Perfect. So with that all being said, this is correct. Okay. And that is for question 13. So now we're officially moving to question 14. Thank you.